Hi everybody, good morning. I'm continuing doing uh, Cybersecurity 101, the new part of TriHackMe. Uh, I'm doing now, uh, I'm doing depend on people requests. I'm trying to do all of them if I have time. So, web application basic, this one I think is a free one, so you can read about it. So, it's good, the most important stuff. Uh, of course, this is what uh, HTTP protocol, all of that, they use it later on. Remember, this is a basic thing. You don't need to memorize the whole thing. At least you need to instead the concept and use it as a reference later on when you start using bare proxy and all of that. So the front end, for example, here talking about HTML. You know, if you know website HTML, this text, what you see is an HTML language. CSS, usually the style, like when you have this font uh, size and all of that. The back end, of course, the server, either you have a database, you have the instructor, the cloud, and all of that, and you have, of course, the firewall for security. So, this is straightforward. Which component of the computer is responsible? This one is, of course, that's where you put your stuff in the web server. Uh, how you access an application of Chrome or, or Firefox, that they are browsers, so web browser. Uh, which component are protected is the firewall, so you can say the web application is the question straight, uh, three words, so we, we call all of it. Uh, which one here we're talking about? Uh, uniform resource locator. What is uniform locator? Oh, the URL. <laughs> you know, sometimes when. Of course, if you have start HTTP or the scheme, HTTPOS, you have the. Of course, if you want to send, this is like the, the full one. Usually, you don't put uh, this. Then the domain, the port, and then whatever path. Then we have the query string. This is usually where you get sometimes a LF file, local file, inclusion later on when you do some hacking rooms. And this is the, the fragment because usually, where you scroll, like if you want to, uh, you put uh, this. Uh, sometimes, when you click, you find the page scroll down. You can read the bottom here quickly. It's straightforward. It, f from the picture, they give you the answer, so it's better than uh, the port, of course. This uh, the total port. So, which protocol for encry uh, the encryption? Of course, you need to go with HTTPS. So, what then describe the practice? Okay, this is people. Sometimes they, for example, you can website called Try Hack Me. I can register something called Try Hack and remove the E. So to trick people, this one is what they call it typo squadron. So try to trick people with the name. Even sometimes they use different language. What part of the URL uh, passes? Yeah, usually this is the part where it's dangerous. But the the, str the query string. Uh, usually that's where we go sometimes injection. When you go to the uh, the rooms later on. Uh, what is this? HTTP messages. Uh, you have a request where you send a response. Usually, <coughs> a request like post or get <coughs> or get request or something like that. <coughs> Sorry, guys. A response usually says it's okay or not found or all of that type. So it gives you, of course, the time, the head, uh, the empty line is a line to divide the separate. This this uh, usually you have an empty line here. <coughs> the body, for example, for the post request. Uh, okay, well, which HTTP me message is returned by the web server? Yeah, when you send, you get a HTTP response. No, I'm not sure if it's uh, with an S or without an S. Let's see. Okay, S. Well, what what follow the header in HTTP message? Uh, it followed an empty line. You can see a uh, message. The all both of them have the, the empty line, so that's how the standard. So it, it, this is standard. It's not like some kind of uh, request line and method. A request, of course, here you have a get request, the path, HTTP version. We have also two now for more security. Then this is the head of all this, the host, user agent, accept. Uh, what type of data accept the connection, the cookie, upgrade and secure. These are a lot of things we can uh, that can be had. <coughs> Add this. You just need to <coughs> understand them. They don't need to memorize them. So it's this is like a, a type you can send request, post, delete. Most of the time is get and post. Uh, STP version. Now as I said two, three, three. Now is twenty. Is based new protocol, but we still mostly use this one, the old one. So 
which is people call version became widely adopted. The adopted one is this one. It's uh, it's most used now, but there's some switching to the newest one, but not. Which HTTP request method describes the communication option for the target resources, allowing client to determine which this one is the option. If I'm mistaken, this the option one because if you don't know what the, the server accept, you send him an option. It will tell you I, I accept post, get, or wherever. Usually we use it if when when you do enumeration. In HTTP request, which component specify the specific resource or endpoint on the web server that the client requesting? Uh, yeah, this one is what we have in the picture, the the the, the, the path here. But with the technical term, we call it the URL path. Yeah. Then the next one, what is a uh, request head and body? The, the, of course, yeah, you can send the host, user agent, a refer, a cookie. Yeah, that's where we put password, the type of content. So this is an example of it. It's good to know them because when you have a Sadwin web suite or something, you can. That's why sometimes you intercept uh, the request and you can modify this. You can, for example, you remember this room.sql map? You can use this one to, for example, I want to do SQL injection in one this element. Uh, form data multi part. This is this when you send an uh, you upload file or something. That's why you call multi part form data. <coughs> oh, JSON. JSON request is so important. An XML type of data. This is just need to know them because and make it as a reference when you go along with your learning. Which HTTP request has specified the domain name? Uh, this is the host. That's why we have it here. That's why it, it's there. That's always the host name. What's the default content? Type form form submission. The default usually you can see this is application JSON. Uh, this is multipart, but the default usually is this one. That's what why usually you, most of them they use this one by default. Now, which part of HTTP request contain additional information line host, user, agent, and all of that? Um, uh, where is the technical term? Not request body is request header. That's why you get all this info there. Uh, I'm not sure, but they're using the letter S or without S. Okay, accept the S. Then, of course, the response here, the status code. Do you get 200, 500 not found server internal error on all of that? This one also is good to know the to know these things because when you do enumeration, it gives you idea what exactly is going on uh, like for example this one is always we name the page exists moved permanently not found this one also sometimes give you something about the server like you crash an application or something this also is interesting and then um, which what part of an HTTP response provide HTTP version status code um, what a technical term that's the one so the status line and then which category of HTTP response code indicate that the web server encounter an inten internal issue or this is a, a server error response uh, wh where is it uh, Yeah, this is the server, the category that uh, it's also give you an idea about wh how the server is reacting. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, not found is the well. It's well known for four, four oh four. So it's <coughs> a response header. We did the response status, response header, and body. This is HTTP header response. You the content where. Well, Usually, yeah, the time, the content, the server, it gave you the server name. That's sometimes when we do uh, hacking, uh, you see this to know if the server version, to give you server version, you can Google it if there is uh, any variability in that server version. Uh, other common, yeah, the server, if you log in, it gives you the cookie, starts uh, adding the cookie, and here's where the most uh, 
this is the things that for example if you notice because you can still cookies or something but if it's http only and then there's flags secure this is the flags that server can add against the uh, manipulation uh, you, you look for them when you do the cache also is uh, is interesting because when you see a cache response there is ways to uh, do injection cache injection you steal stuff from it so so this one is also this too important location yeah location uh, if it's redirect or something uh, response body as always yeah this is getting engineer so we understand what's going on um, which HTTP response header can reveal oh that's the server one this is why I said it's uh, important to know to, to read them uh, what is it the server one and then uh, which flag should be added to cookie and set cookie HTTP response to ensure only transmit or HTTP. so this one um, as I said is um, uh, to add this is this is the flag we need to add so to force so you don't trick the server it, it force it which flag should be added to cookie in set cookie HTTP response to prevent from being by JavaScript you see this is what I, I said before this is the the one if this one is on it, that's why you read them to see if every the server is configured correctly or not now what is the security header secure yeah because this is what he said content security policy strict transport x type option refer this one is also very important uh, that's why if you want to read about them this room about this uh, content security policy if you, you go later on for your learning so you don't want to try to understand exactly what's too much about it but exactly that's what it give you you can when you add this to uh, against certain type of attack strict transport security this one ensure the web browser will always go to HTTPS uh, and it give uh, all of this so don't try to this is more you learn them by practice not by memorizing memorizing, memorizing. Uh, non sniff this di directive instruct the web browser not to sniff or guess this is also is important a referral policy uh, no refers this one is to not I think to a subdomain or something like that this niche web server and use it to redirect from the source web server such as when to click a hyperlink the head is available to administer to control what information you share yeah so you don't jump from one uh, server to another server and uh, uh, he's uh, to protect against uh, stealing cookies and all of that so in uh, in a content security policy configuration which property can be set to define where the script can be loaded from uh, what, which specify the policy where the script can be from yeah this is where you so you don't allow that gaps in security where uh, someone can steal stuff when configures uh, the strict transport policy the HTTPS has to ensure a subdomain of site also uses HTTPS which directive should be should apply to security policies to both the main domain and uh, the subdomain uh, where is that thing uh, this one to include the subdomain so you need to, un to add this one and then which HTTP had the directive is used to prevent the browser from interpret yeah you don't want him to interpret you need to force it to ac uh, this one and stack the browser not to sniff or guess and here they give us a lot of simulation about uh, let's do the simulation I was playing with it just now what uh, what it said uh, yeah like for example I get get request they said send get request to users so you can change that one and then send get request uh, doesn't need the um, um, and you say here's they give us the first flag so we can take that one and then make a post request you remember post need a body need data to send this one I was sending it now so ignore it I will do it again 
so we go here to configure let me remove this so we can uh, uh, river, okay just proceed I removed it so if I send now I find nothing so he said change the country the, the country key is country and I want to change it from UK to US so I put US and then press save here don't forget to press save then I press proceed and then because it's post we did the request I have the country so I can just press done uh, why is not going where are you pi to uh, I forgot to use to um, I'm sending it to user number two and then we get uh, our flag for user number two I got some people requesting now yeah, I have issue with this so this is a post request post you need to send something with it so you can come here of course when you enter the country in small letters that's why the hint is said watch the, the out case sensitive the small letter put the name and save it don't don't just proceed without saving it so if I remove this and say proceed and press here uh, because I, it remember what I was doing so I don't know how to refresh this so basically you, you need to add your country country there uh, you put the value US you press save then proceed you make a post to user 1 2 and you click and you get your flag then make delete to user 1 this, this one is straightforward uh, user 1 delete usually it's dangerous some rooms in CTF so delete user 1 so we can go and it give me there so let's go back to user lists if I get get request to users uh, send so did we delete uh, user 1? I think we deleted the US is uh, I'm not sure I forgot how it was in the first time so usually yeah and you're done guys so I hope you like it and it's quick room yeah usually thank you very much and if you have question please let me know and uh, yeah yeah it's, it always freeze when you do this uh, Okay, so we're done with this, so everybody is happy, thank you very much and have a good day.